So a quick update, we are in November and uh, change of season is happening. Summer is long gone. Um, autumn to winter is not a very clear definition. But yes, the weather is much colder. So we got rid of a lot of our um, summer crops. These, some of these creepers are still there. For example, this uh, bitter gourd is still giving us some produce. So for example, if you see here, you can see um, this sponge gourd. Um, you can see here, still getting some growth. But I think in another couple of weeks or so, we'll start as they dry out. We keep on removing these creepers. Uh, it's a bit difficult though. If you see, flowers are still everywhere. They're still producing. But slowly, slowly, we're getting rid of all of these and making our buckets. So this bucket, in fact, has been turned. We took it out, put some, put it, mixed it with uh, bone meal, wormy compost. Uh, it already had, of course, a lot of bulging and all, which went to soil rich. But we did some more. This one is yet to be done. We'll do that. But we have, what we're doing is we're preparing the fields. The We don't have any fields, of course. We're just preparing these buckets and other containers for the winter crops what are the winter crops likely to be beans so for example this is a these are these are swat beans i have never planted them before i am waiting to see what the output will be like there is a lot of flowering happening but as yet i have to yet to see the fruit once you see the fruit hopefully it will be better then we have planted uh, cabbage planted cauliflower um, some kinds of radish and this is fenugreek or coriander this coriander, coriander takes more time to come but you can see these coriander starting to pop up uh, homegrown coriander gives a beautiful smell and that is what we are hoping for similarly if you look here and in the middle of that there is some one kind of beans I had a massive problem with Brinjal, I put yellow pads, but the infestation was very bad. I sprayed it with neem, sprayed it multiple times, but difficult to get. What I need are ladybugs, but I don't have a good way of getting ladybugs. I need to research as to how to get ladybugs to come naturally to your garden and other uh, insects that eat all these white flies and yellow flies and all. So far, no. Good. So, if you see this, there's still a lot of people here. But most of them will go and hopefully they'll get replaced with beans of different types. So in this part, for example, you still have these sponge gourds. But in the middle, if you can identify, these are bean plant, these are bean leaves. These are different types. I don't have one specific. I planted kidney beans, I planted uh, what else? Multiple types of beans. So and this is what is happening. And you see these radishes also here. Uh, so the transformation is already happening. What has happened is this year I have planted more flowers. So there's vinca in between, and I'm going to let them stay. They provide a lot of. Uh, they'll get bees and other interesting pollinators here, which is of course very good for the garden. If I come here, you can see this one is empty for the time being. So was empty. So planted coriander. Then radish, radish, mostly empty, and then we got these tomatoes coming up as well. See here, I'm gonna let them grow. Two, this one is a bit bigger. It's time for tomatoes, so we're gonna do that. Beans here, here, climbing up, getting into the mix of this. All of these are beans now. Okay, so this was a quick update as to what's happening in my garden. Um, I also planted one of these not planted uh, i do this kitchen waste putting them in this kind of in situ uh, composting bottles with holes at the bottom as they decay they leave out leachate and they also turn into compost which i will add to this and it's open it gets done quickly and we are on the terrace so rodents are not a problem uh, here okay so if you want to encourage me if you like these videos uh, want to support me and if you have some helpful tips please comment Otherwise, for the YouTube algorithm and just to encourage me, please um, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.